Ron Taberski, Kevin Ferguson, and Jeff Nichols are officials for the evening. And the lefty stroke is good for Phil Valenti. Scott trying to go off the dribble, create, and does so. Just a nice individual one-on-one -on -one play by Scott. I think a lot of the play we're seeing now is just a product of nerves. Rejected by Crumpton, got it right back, and Davis knocks down the three ball. And the Purple Eagles switch defense once again. Just a steady dose of throwing different looks at the Griffs to keep them off balance. The alley-oop, got it! Emil Blackman. That confidence that he's playing with, you saw him just take a long shot there, but I don't think that's a shot they needed in that particular possession. Satchel for three, trades it! Niagara was shooting 38%, just two of seven from Paris Kanishas, just as ice cold, 28%. One of eight, nice move inside, and to the hoop is Chris Barton. <laughs> well, in that case, do you get uh, two blocks? Yeah. One for each player? Yeah. <laughs> Plenty of love to go around. Again, Valenti now in wow. double figures, he's got 10. And there's Bleeker, credit him with another block, up ahead. Valenti, yes, and Canisius takes the lead. In the corner, Dows over to Bleeker. Watch what a out! Pass by Taos. Niagara as they've won their last three. However, the Purple Eagles won their last meeting back on February 24th. A nice take to the hoop by Douse. 34% to be exact coming down with the board is Emil Blackman. And that was all will for the 6'4 red shirt. Junior, how about it? particularly well from the three-point line. And then just as I say that, Cassius Robertson makes me eat my word. Team, a game, he had 17 in that win over Manhattan. And continuing to shoot the rock well from downtown is Cassius Robertson. That's his third three of the game. Well, Cassius has been doing a great job so far of just penetrating the gaps, kicking to the open man, but also stepping up and knocking down Big baskets. Blackman on the other end, answering, bringing it up from long range. Step ahead in transition, they turn it right back over. Here comes Cameron Fowler. Finds Emil Blackman. I tell you what, Emil Blackman is having himself quite the ball game. About how well he gets to the rim. In addition to that, he was on Sports Center's top 10 plays last year when they played Canisius, and somehow. McMillan able to fire that one off and get it to drop. Jumped out on top first, and then it was a game of runs there in that first half. And somehow able to get that one up is Chris Barton, the freshman out of Pontiac, Michigan. So in the backcourt, it's Atkinson, Robertson, and Dallas, and Robertson with the steal there. Will he pick up the scoring since McMillan is now on the bench, gives the fake the bank, and yes. Is on top 49 45 alongside Gerard Ward on Tiffany Green and Niagara searching for their first win at home against the Griffs since 2012 and plays like that. Look, but they're just gonna have to keep doing what they do well, and that's getting the ball into the teeth of the defense, dribble penetration, or passing it in the interior and trying to create that way. Well, a wonderful assist and one on the continuation for Bleak. It'll be their fourth. Loss at home to Canisius. Mm, with authority, Neil Blackman. Another win on the road for the Canisius Golden Griffs. Now move to five and four in the MAC. All of their road wins have come in conference. They close out a four-game road trip with a nine-point victory over Niagara.